The certificate from Mitigation Center on the showcase. How much is it? I think we're selling that for 100? 100 V. Forge documentation. Very nice to have. Alright, there's no way you're overpricing your items. Okay, let's get... So since we can't give the Einstein spoon to uh, the History Society, we'll uh, see if we can't just... We'll just put it on the display. Okay. Hi, I'd like to know how much is the fee to rent the ruby ring filled with love for three days. Three days, that'll be half the price. So that'll be uh, 2,200 V. Okay, sounds fair. See you when I come back to return it. Now you do realize it's kind of like a wedding ring? Or engagement ring or something? Like... I'm not quite sure what appraising it is supposed to do. Aren't you supposed to have a happier face if you're here to collect money, Mr. Blackmailer? Yeah, but here's the thing. I've been watching you again this week. Okay, and? I got to the conclusion that I might be wrong about your identity. Okay, go on. And I'm not smiling. Last time I was here, I was actually pretending to be confident. It wasn't really clear if you're Jesus Cha. And during this week, you proved you're not a nice guy like Jisoo Cha. The biggest proof was your active criminal reports to Avok. And I came to think that it'd be me that Avok would take away for giving false information. Oh, thank God how lucky we are, Bob. We're talking with such a wise and sensible blackmailer. Yeah, I'm giving up, and this will be the last time we see each other. Want to buy something on your way out? No? You see what I can do, Bob? Well done, me. You know, too, you do get the credit. Good job. Alright, I can borrow items here. How much is the fee for a two-day rental of Einstein's Spoon? Now, this is... Just so you understand, this is an item of great historical significance, archaeological value. So, I'm lending it to you for a thousand V, but you had better not damage it. Because then the repair costs are really going to add up. I think 600 V will be alright. Just please don't damage it. Take care until I come back to return it. I'll try! Please don't damage it! What could she possibly need Einstein's su spoon for two days for? You successfully sold the book I gave you last time. Well done. Here's another copy to sell. Again, thanks for your hard work. Yeah, might as well put it on the old shelf. 125V. This watch is back on display. 215. There we go. Hey, did you know what's this book about? There's nothing about Bluebird in this book. A friend of mine told me that she bought this here, thinking this is Bluebird VR tour guide book. Well, I thought so too. I didn't actually read it. What was it about? But all she could read was just a lot of crap about sea raw thing and cocoon thing. Ugh. How dare you cheat your customers like this? I'll throw this away. It will make another victim if I give this back to you. But I want back the money she paid, or I'll report you. Ma'am, I apologize for the uh, deceptive business practice you have uh, seemed to have been uh, yeah, victimized by here. Uh, it was never our intention to sell a misleading product. Uh, you know, it looked to me like it was actually about VR and the like, and so I had no qualms selling it, but knowing that it was propaganda masked within a book that was about VR, I feel awful, and you will get a full refund. Good, you're with a conscience. In fact, we will we will pull this book from our store. We, we are no longer selling this. 
because I do not need to be part of her conspiracy. Why are we holding on to this again? Oh, we are. We're trying to sell it currently. Why are we holding on to this? Like, I think... Like, this could be our signature item, or this could be our signature item. Hmm. Well, since we... We should really get something bigger on display. Hi, I'm trying to get a gift for my cousin. Do you have anything to recommend? Well, it depends on what sort of gift you're looking for. Why don't you provide us some filters? Well, it's a gift anyway, so I want some branded thing. Uh-huh. But at the same time, I want it to be special. You know, there are some products that the brands generally don't make. Heh, <laughs> products that the brands generally don't make. Please tell me right away if you don't have any. Being honest is better than wasting time. Um... I don't think we have anything that matches that description. I mean, the closest thing is I believe this is a collaboration, but I don't think that counts, so I'm going to decline. We, we don't have anything that matches that. Oh, so you don't have it? Don't bother if you don't have any. I'll try another shop. Oh, well, I uh, wish you luck in your search. Here it goes, I borrowed it from here. Wish I could meet another good stuff here. Not even damaged! Yes! Rental system actually working. I dropped it once or twice, but it will be okay. Hmm, it's not good, it has some new damages. <sighs> Hope you don't get too upset about the damage. I'm really sorry about that. Don't worry, I, I know a guy. Oh, this rental business is ridiculous. Jeez, it's you. I thought you were Darcy. Well, you know, Darcy's been suffering a lot these days. He asked me to find you some stuff for him. Oh, Darcy. How can he be so sweet even in agony? And Darcy said I gotta ask you this beforehand. You met the art club, right? Nurses said they're quite bothering. How interesting. Hearing you delivering how bothering they are. And he said they used to come here every week and ask him for recommendations. And they sabotaged his reputation if Darcy failed to satisfy them. To always have art on it. They said the same thing to you, didn't you? They. What I'm trying to say is, if you're not sure if you can handle it, you can count on me, Bob. How so? I can go to the fixier and find some stuff for you. But first, let me get some expenses. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. How much do you want? How about 3,500 feet? Without money, I can get you artwork and some and some historical thing. Ooh. Hmm. I think I'll be fine. I think I think we can... And if we look at... Like... I think we already have artwork lined up, yeah. The porcelain should come back. Um, historical... Is something we are going to need to find, but surely we'll be able to find something. Heck, this is art too. I think I'll be fine. Are you sure, Bob? Alright, just be careful not to lose your reputation then. Of course. I'm always careful. I like your independency, Bob. Evening, Mr. Bob Joe. This is Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. We're going through each citizen's weekly contribution to avarice crime prevention. Oh, I just realized I should put my, uh, since I got the uh, watch returned, I should put it on display. Uh, 
Uh, the rest of the stuff needs to be repaired, though, first, so, yeah. So many items to be repaired, man. This guy's gonna be busy. Let me read for the review your report and donation records for the week. Since Monday, you've made 14 reports. Have shown highly active cooperation in catching the criminals. We will provide you a chance to claim remission of a fine. Thank you. Please keep in mind that this is not accumulable nor reusable. Also, I suppose to lower your renunciation rate as well. Sweet! Thank you! But your current renunciation rate is equal to the initial rate, so I can't provide you the benefit now. Drat! Thank you again for your kind help in preventing our first crimes. Last but not least, I found you made four donations for the association this week. Yeah, very, very good donations, right? Although it falls short of the standard for the benefit, we want you to know we appreciate your donation. How many donations do I need to make for the benefits? Like, I'm almost at the point where I just don't want to donate at all. <sighs> Dear citizens, the week is at an end. This week you have reached the target of 90 criminals. We'd like to thank you all for your hard work. Please keep up your active cooperation with us. Thank you. It's time for weekend fun. Go home and take a rest, Bob. Uh, will do, will do. Okay. You can try the minute that you, that you borrow that. Oh, you look a bit tired, Bob. Take a good rest. Certainly. Hey, Bob. You going home, too? Hope you had a great day. Bye. Yeah, let's use the bus. Anything of note going on over here? Do you know how fixer end works? I thought Avic would come up with that with a much smarter way. Okay. Let's finish the day out. Not a bad day. We've been renting a lot of stuff out this week. Obviously, that means we're going to need to be repairing a lot of the stuff that got damaged. Wish we could pair, repair more in one day. Um, but we do need to actually like, sell some of these items soon. Day 31. I need a different outfit. Dear citizens, this is the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. At the beginning of the week, we announced the results of last week's search out. Last week, 108 avarice criminals were reported, which exceeded the target of 90 criminals. We are looking forward to your continued active work on the search out. Yeah, I I'm serious, though, about the whole, uh, yeah, needing to get some different clothes. I mean, I know that, like, part of why, like, our money has actually fallen quite a bit, uh, last week, over the course of the last week. And I understand that, in large part, that's because we spent so much money on a new outfit. Uh, my cleaning services? Drat. <sighs> fine. Man, what do you got to do to not get vandalized around here? Yes, I'm an average criminal. Oh, never mind, I'm not an average criminal hunter. <laughs> the uh, tales of my vigilante nature are very exaggerated. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, I could always use some extra patience. What else do we have here? Naughty flower, naughty flower, eh? Wait. So, that's a flower that can either damage your items or repair them. Well, we'll just get some patience. I feel like, you know, we, we get enough walkouts just for me taking too long to appraise the items that a bit of extra patience, I think, would be 
of value. Um, how are our repairs going? I know we had some stuff here. Oh, you're here to pick up. Here you go. Do you have anything to request for repair? Please show me if you do. Um, well then. So is this what we just got back? No? Okay, we will need the ring repaired, that's for sure. Um, that's slightly... This is valueless? Can I get the bracelets repaired? Maybe we could try auctioning the bracelets. <laughs> Einstein's spoon has not been damaged. Good. Um, this definitely needs to be repaired. Can I, how many items can I, oh, only the two? Uh, I guess if it has to only be the two. Why is this, is this like break or something? Huh. Okay, we'll get the rings repaired. I can fix your grander dight ring right away. And I can fix your ring still shining right away. The repair costs 429V in total, what do you say? Should be worth it. Alright, it's done. Great. Oh, alright. So that is wonderful. Is this the auction house? Hit NV. You can submit to an auction two more times this week. Uh, are you putting your item up for auction? Yeah, I tried it with a valuable item last time. Let's see if... Uh, are you willing to auction off this bracelet? Thank you, let me check for a minute. Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry to tell you this, but we can't accept this item. Well, why not? We are holding auctions for items that fall into at least one of the following categories. Archaeological slash National Historical, Autographed by Significant Figures in World History, or by Contemporary Celebrities. Okay. Gotcha. So it doesn't have an autograph, unfortunately. What about this? No. Hmm. Well, that lowers the amount of people that we can potentially give it to. What about this uh, bird thing? It's just a book. Okay, I guess we don't really have anything for auction then. Um, is there anything? Don't forget the fixie glad is always watching on you. Great. Uh, I need a better clothes. Good mo- oh my, did you get your hair? Done, didn't you? Then you definitely need new clothes. New hair needs new outfits. I couldn't agree more in this case. Please just don't make me look ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I insist that we show you some new clothes. Please do. Please do. Please enter the fitting room on your right. Okay. I. We can only go up from here, right? After ten years of office work. Sounds a bit of a depressing look, but you know what? I'll take it. Okay. Oh, you look so gorgeous! What a perfect match! You know, I could roll with this. I kind of look like, uh... Yeah, I, I can roll with that. Not the biggest fan of this hairstyle. Let's, let's see what we can do for that. Although, honestly, I, I can rock this hairstyle for a bit. We, we don't want to spend all of our money on just... hair and the like. So actually, we'll, I'll, uh, I'll stick by this look for at least a bit. Uh, I honestly kind of prefer my old hairstyle, but I think this actually works decently with the outfit I'm wearing. Uh, yeah, alrighty. Look, I've got a modicum of professionalism yet again. I bought a new plant. All will go well. Dear citizens of Ajax City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. The Avak will create a beautiful society where everyone can contribute. Thank you. Uh, I want you to be normal. I made up my mind. I'm gonna sell this today. Okay, well then. Uh, first of all, let's see what gem that is. Um, okay, uh, here's some more specifics about it. Three carrots. 
Okay. The brand, Emeralds of Oz. Have we dealt with Emeralds of Oz before? I mean, probably. At this point, we've dealt with most brands. Where is Oz? It's a decent area. Okay. This appears to be a legitimate autograph of the jeweler of the Oz Corporation. Norman. <laughs> Just kidding. In terms of, uh, let me get back to Oz. A Sorcerer's Desire, Emeralds of Oz. A Sorcerer's Desire, Emeralds of Oz. Seems to check out. Don't need a doubt, gem by J. Okay. A jewelry brand set up by the Emerald Mining Company. The cross is love's products made before 2051. Emily Kim. Okay, wait, I haven't... 2048 is when this is from, and... The cross is love products made before 2051. Emily Kim, is that who we said had signed it? Uh, where, where be the signatures? Yep, Emily Kim. Wonderful. Um, the material, you say it is made of Stephen Claymer material. This to me looks like 18 karat white gold. I will keep that information to myself for now. Um, yes, yes, this is very precise. Condition. I'd call that slightly damaged. So, sorry. It's not quite in perfect condition. It is slightly damaged. And, yeah. I'd say we have uh, we got a winner on our hands here. Um. So, if you think I can sell it for that much, then... Uh, let's be aggressive with this. 1900. Can't you offer me slightly more? Okay, all right. You, you, you're uh, an intelligent woman. You, you know when you're uh, being ripped off or negotiating with a party that's pushing real hard. But I can give you twenty fifty. You know what? I'll sweeten the deal. Twenty fifty eight. How does? Never mind. Take the twenty fifty. Thank you. Alright, we need to manage our storefront, because we have a lot of items we should really have up here. Not the book, though. I am against selling that book. It is unconscionable of me to sell the book. And actually, hold on. Before I do this, I want to look at the calendar. Um, so, Graphology is Monday. Okay. Then we've got Art Club and Mendelisian History. Uh, someone's rebuilding the Citizens' Alliance Research Institute, apparently. Um, so... We need to have an item ready to give to Graphology, we need to have an item ready for History, and we need to have an item ready for Art. Do we have our bases covered, covered there? This is Art, right? This is a work of art by a deceased artist, okay. So we'll keep the handwritten score, that will be for Art purposes. So we'll keep that here. Uh, for History... I'm not sure if we have anything currently that is historical, so we'll need to be on the lookout for that. Um, ah, Einstein's spoon is archaeological. That's not history, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Okay, so we'll need to get history. And for graphology, uh, I guess we'll just give him whatever the most expensive item we have with a signature is. Which might be this ring. Or actually, it might be this watch. Does this have a signature? It has a signature of a jeweler. The Besh watch. Okay. Okay, so we want to put... Basically everything on here except for the best watch and the score. Oh, we already have that there. Wonderful. How much are we selling this for? Oh, this is appraised at 1100 
Does this have a signature on it? Uh, as it turns out, the, the, the watch actually were taken off the store shelf. Uh, because that is what we're going to be given to the signature, the uh, Graphology Club. And instead, we'll put this watch on display, which you can get probably 7800 for. Uh, we'll put this on display. I reckon we could call 4500 for the Grand Nicholas. I mean, this watch is already on display. The ring is still shining. I reckon that's a 5200 ring if I've ever seen one. Uh, we are not going to put this up there. Um, uh, do we, we already have that ring up there, and I guess... I'm actually going to hold on to the hoverboard. Uh, I'm not sure if potentially we can get it repaired or not, but we'll, we'll see. So I'll, I'll, I'll not put it up immediately. With the newly built institute, Avuk is planning to keep on developing better performing fixer. Yay! The new institute will be led by the same director, Dr. Go Nam Choi. This was reporter Seu O oh, for Ajik Ajik News. I'd like to buy the poor watch over there. How much is it? You come into my store and you buy the cheapest item? Really? It's two fifteen. But its material is different from what's said here. There must have been a mistake. What? Faux leather? That's totally faux leather. I'll buy it right away if it's 182. Uh. Sure. We still make profits. And I don't want to be embarrassed further. We're both happy, right? Indeed. I forget if I'm an avarice criminal right now or not. I don't think I am. Well, it costs a lot to buy the ring still shining. I want to rent it for three days. Uh, the, the ring's still shining. It's, it's already slightly damaged, right? Okay. How many days did you... How many... I forget how many days you said. I, I think it was three. Which, in that case... 2580... We have a deal. I won't forget to return it. Please don't damage it. Don't forget to not damage it. Please. Come to think of it, did I put Einstein's thing on the... I know my Chirplight watch is here. It's a keepsake for my mother. Chirplight? Some bastard took it while I was gone to the bunker. Just give it back to me or you'll be reported. Chirplight? Calm down and just tell us exactly what you're looking for. It's a yellow chirp light watch, limited edition, made with Ben Brown. That, honestly, that doesn't really ring any bells, sir. Um, oh, right, we're renting out Einstein's. Uh, yeah, I don't think we ever got that. We got a Besh, we got a Blake. We got uh, another Besh. I don't think we've ever bought a chirp light watch, sir. Um, we don't have it. So that means it's not here. Sorry, sir. It, it's not. So you're selling stolen things. You deserve retribution. I. You know, it's possible we may have bought that. Oh, Bob. He was wearing a badge. You could have reported him first. Is that how that works? Oh, yeah, well. Keep that in mind for next time. Can I buy the granite ring? How much is the fee to rent it for four days? Four days. Four days. Quattro. So that'll be uh, two thirds of the price. It's slightly damaged, repaired. Okay. Um. Man. Uh. So if we use eighteen hundred as our base, then we go. I think like eleven hundred sounds about right. Maybe. Yeah. I think I actually need like ten fifty. Yeah. No. If it's eighteen hundred, then that's gonna be twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. But I'll give you a slight discount since it's not quite up to eighteen hundred, so I'll give you eleven eighty. Oh, that's good. See you when I come back to the tenants. Okay. So far, so good. Never mind. Mr. Joe, one of the citizens has reported you as an avarice criminal. 
<sighs> However, as you have a chance to invalidate a report, I'll give you a break this one time. Ha ha ha, thank you. I do remind you, there are no more chances left. If you get reported again, you will be registered as a pre averse criminal. Wouldn't have it any other way. Hail to the associations of victims of averse crimes. Got over the best watch until tomorrow evening. How much is the fee for two day rental? Two day rental. One third the price. Two day rental. You better not damage this thing. Um. So two days. We're at like three hundred times eight. Three times eight. So that's going to be twenty four. Twenty four ish hundred. That yeah. Uh, it's not quite to 8,000, so I'll knock 100 off. So 2,300. Oh, that's good. I promise I'll return it in due. Please re return it undamaged, ideally. Yeah, I feel like we're more so a rental store than a shop that like actually sells stuff at this point. Um... I bet we could get 6,200 for that. We have almost nothing on our storefronts. This is, um, mildly concerning. But, I mean, I guess we're getting the recurring revenue from renting items out, so... Initiating Fixie Cloud Records. I want you to take a look at this. Okay. Alright, so first of all, async await. A meaningful await. Let me take a look at that brand. But... Appraisal is a business that you, know, you got to take your time on if you want to really be good. Uh, also, you need to like know where the things are. Async await. There you are. Okay. Async await a meaningful wait. Async await a meaningful wait. Okay. Okay, a bag that symbolizes luxury and success, apparently. And this is... I think it matches up with the last one. Lab leather, which you already knew. Wonderful. It is from 2038. Uh, so it is apparently rare. Okay, look, I'll just keep in mind myself that it's rare then. Um, it is, yeah, it's in perfect condition, well, and that's close enough to call perfect condition. It's in perfect condition, ma'am. Okay. Well, if I don't have a modifier, that puts it between perfect condition and slightly damaged, so I think we'll be fine if we buy it without noting that. Any signature? No signature. Nothing on there. Okay, uh, I guess I will... And look, I don't want to be accused of, like, ripping people off, so I will... I'll put slightly damaged here. I do think it's a legitimate product. Uh, in that case... Um... I can offer you... 1500 for it. Objectively speaking, that is not an optimal offer. Says so, says you. With subjective information included, 1865 is the best offer. Perhaps, but you gotta have room to negotiate. How about 1800? That is not an optimal price. What are you, the invisible hand? Come on. Based on 1865? Okay, fine. I can make a profit with that. I'll take it. Deal success. This event will be recorded on the Fixie Cloud. Okay, well, at least we got another product to sell. Okay, um... It might be pushing it, but we might be able to get 